Let's go over about punctuation today. The comma. Certain parts of sentences cannot be separated from one another. Therefore, commas should not be used in the following cases. Number one, do not use a comma to separate the subject from its verb. Example, the enclosed form from our office are to be filled out now. There shouldn't be a comma after office. Number two, do not use a comma to separate verb from its object. For example, tell me before noon if you are going to come. There shouldn't be a comma after noon. Do not use a comma to separate an adjective from its noun. Example, I was an old rusty car. There shouldn't be a comma after rusty. Do not use a comma to separate a preposition from its object. For example, it was a question of what to do now. There shouldn't be a comma after the preposition. Number five, do not use a comma to separate prepositional phrase from the, the word it modifies when it immediately follows the modified word. For example, the boat floated in the lake. There shouldn't be a comma after floated. Do not use a comma to separate a coordinating conjunction from the word phrase or clause that it joins to the sentence. For example, studying is easy for most, but for me it is hard. There shouldn't be a comma after the conjunction. Do not use a comma to separate compound verbs from one another. For example, the cat played with the catnip mouse for hours and then hid it under the sofa. There shouldn't be a comma after hours. The following sentences illustrate situations in which a comma should be used. Use the comma before coordinating conjunction in a compound sentence. For example, I felt happy about my new job, but the pay was not quite enough. So we have a comma before a coordinating conjunction. Number two, we use a comma to set up interrupting or introductory words or phrases. Example, safe in the house, we watch the rainbow outside. Marie, after all, is one of three children. Number three, we use a comma to separate a series of words or word groups. For example, diet, exercise, and rest are all contribute to good health. The threat of runaway inflation, the heightened tension regarding foreign affairs, and the lack of quality education in many schools are issues that will be addressed. So we use comma to separate words, diet, exercise, and rest. The threat of runaway inflation, comma, the heightened tension regarding foreign affairs, comma, and lack of quality education. So we are separating those group of words. We use a comma to set up non-essential clauses and phrases that are descriptive but needed to get across the basic meaning of sentence. Such phrases are termed non-restricted. For example, Maria who dislikes school is failing English. Note, restricted phrase is a phrase necessary to the basic meaning of sentence but must not be separated by commas. For example, the Maria who dislikes school is failing English. That means there are Two or more Maria, but the one who dislikes school is the one who is failing English. We use a comma to set off a positives. Second noun or nouns equivalent that give additional information about a preceding noun. For example, Michael Jackson, a singer, died before his comeback concert. So, Michael Jackson is a singer. That's one sentence. Michael Jackson died before his comeback concert. 
So, even if you get rid of this a positive, the sentence is still complete. Number six, use a comma to separate the elements of dates, places, addresses, degrees, and titles. Examples. Dates, Monday, comma, February 12, comma, 2024, comma, will be our 20th anniversary. Example for places. Kalispell, comma, Montana is my hometown. Example for addresses. He has lived for years at 12345 Somewhere Street, comma, any town, comma, California. Example for degrees, John Boswell, comma, M.A., comma, is soon to become John Boswell, comma, Ph.D. For titles, Sam Owens, comma, Junior, comma, owns a clothing store in the center of town. We use comma after introductory clauses or verb phrases. For example, Although I had six years of sewing experience, I still had a difficulty making my first wool blazer. By jogging two miles a day, comma, Art lost 20 pounds during the summer. So we use comma after the introductory close. Although I had six years of sewing experience, that's an introductory close. By jogging two miles a day is also an introductory close. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. This is Emmy. Have a good day.